welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Vlogmas. This is day seven, I believe, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of my 2023 bullet journal. So I ended up going with the Yap and Tom Sage Green um, Midnight Moon Print, I guess, bullet journal. I love this brand. Uh, this is my second year using them, and I'm going to be using them again for 2024. So let's get into it. I'm gonna have to blur that out. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I did sort of like a weather theme for the beginning of the year. Um, if you didn't watch my video from last Vlogmas where I set this all up, you can go ahead and do that and then you can see how this has changed and like what I ended up doing. So on my left, I have a theme at a glance uh, and this just has a box for every theme that I ended up doing this year and a little like either drawing or, you know, pattern of whatever I ended up doing. And I have my index on this page. And then I have my title page where I put chapter 20 because I'm turned 20 this year. So next up we have our future log. So I put the first six months on these two and then the second half of the year on the next page. I ended up adding these little doodles afterwards in there because it felt kind of blank. But next year I think I'm going to go back to making it a smaller future log because this was way too much space for me. Then I had my theme ideas. As you can see, I did a couple of these themes on the side and that is like a TV that's gonna be on this like books red. I thought it was a really cute setup to include both of these in here because they don't really need that big of a spread. And I didn't really end up reading a whole lot of like actual books this year. I read a lot of articles um, and such, but just not full books. And I wanted to save this specifically for books red. On my right, I have television shows that I watched in 2023. I ended up trying this out new, this type of spread, and I absolutely loved it. I feel like it gave me so much room. I was able to track which seasons I was watching, and I could go back every so often and look at all the shows that I ended up watching and throughout the year, which is a lot. Then to go with that, I had my movies watched in 2023, and so I thought this was going to be enough space, and it definitely wasn't, so I sort of added this little tip in here, and I really don't like how it looks. Like, it looks very ugly, but it's serving its purpose of holding the rest of the movies that I'm watching this year so far in it. And then I have my monthly challenges section over here. I sort of gave up this halfway through the year. Um, I tried, but it's just having a specific goal every single month and then making like action steps to actually try and do it and then keeping up with those as the months went on through the year just wasn't a good system for me. Next, we have the start of my January setup. I also had a video on my channel where I set this whole uh, theme up for January. I did an Alice in Wonderland theme, but it was like specifically the white rabbit since it was the year of the rabbit. So I specifically did stuff involving him. So I did like a little clock on this playlist and a little cup of tea at the, the tea party that he's trying to get to. And then you can see I have my monthly challenge page over here. And then I had a little page because my friend and I were doing winter break scavenger hunt with movies. So we would find a prompt and then I put what I watched and then I put what she watched on the side. And for one of them, we ended up actually watching the same movie unintentionally. Then I have the start of this type of spread. This is a two lines a day spread that I tried out this year. I really loved doing it and I kept it up for a very long time throughout the year. I just think it's a really nice way to have all of it together and have a space to put what you did that day and it's a really cool memory sink. Then I have what was my spring semester schedule over here. Um, I started an actual job so I ended up adding that in last minute. I have little memories paid from when I went to the Fan Expo in New Orleans in January. That was like so much fun. And then I have this just little memory page over here, a little poem I wrote, a little uh, ticket from a movie that I went to go see. Uh, this was from the little map that I use in the free little library video if you guys watched that, so. Next, uh, we're on to February and I did a Google theme. I still tried to keep up my monthly challenge at this point, but as you can see, I kind of tapered off toward the end of the month. This is my calendar spread. I made it a two page full spread this time and oops, that was really sad when that happened. Still haven't fixed that. <laughs> then I have my habits tracker over here. I ended up tracking my steps, my period, workout, meals, and budget when I was still using this habit tracker. And then I have a whole spread for my playlist, including little podcasts that I did at the bottom. 
We have my two lines a day. I wish that I had done something with this space up here because it looks very empty, but I do love the colors. It's more memory pages. I turned 20 in this month. This is Valentine's Day. Mardi Gras and then we get into March I really had a lot of stresses going on during March with my midterms and stuff at school and then I started my job so I needed something that was gonna be calm and I thought drawing these little doodles out was really cool and then I have the monthly calendar here and I tried to make it like it was like yoga mats rolling out so I thought that was an interesting idea two lines a day I have my playlist spread, and then I had a place to do a project list for this club that I am in, but I didn't end up using that. <laughs> Some more memory pages to a book festival. I went to the Sabrina Carpenter concert this month, and it was so much fun. I had an amazing time, and I wrote down the whole set list <laughs> of all the songs because I'm just obsessed. Then we get to April and this month I wanted to do some painting, but then I feel like that was a very poor decision because nothing in this month came out the way I wanted it to, honestly. I feel like I just sort of gave up after it didn't look good and I wish I had kept going with it. I was trying to do this like galaxy princess thing and I just sort of ended up like haphazardly coloring it in purple, but like not adding anything interesting to it. And the painting took forever. So I think I was getting really annoyed that it was taking so long to look not very good. And then I even messed up here when I wrote March, when this is supposed to be April, like I was just very not caring. I thought this, this is probably one of my least favorite themes I've done. Now for Easter. Next we're on to May, and this is where I sort of, I think the April slump sort of dragged over into the summer months because I didn't really have a lot going on with school and I just didn't really have a lot of motivation to get into my journal. So I wanted to make this kind of the opposite of April and make the materials and stuff like as simple as possible to decorate. So I basically just themed it off of this washi tape that I have here. And I have a separate washi tape that I felt complemented it. And I had to cut out each of these individual squares to put on here. So not really decomplicating my life, but see, I love what I did with this with the months because I use the washi tape to line the tops and bottom of it. And I just feel like it makes it feel like such a more complete spread and that it's all connected with each other. And then this is probably one of my favorite uses of the washi tape, which I layered it two layers of this one I've been using and then a layer of this other tape and then having the list be on the side. I just think it's really cool and it's very, something I don't do very often. I'm used to sort of doing like this where it's just at the top. Then I have a memories page from when I went to New York. So I had my plane tickets, this napkin from this bagel place we went to, which was amazing. I went to the Museum of Broadway, so I had the tickets. And then we had a map from our hotel. So I just put the different boroughs that we went to when we were there. This was a very spontaneous trip. But it was very amazing because I got to go see Sweeney Todd. Don't worry, I had two sets of playbills. So I used one to cut up and put the stuff in my journal. And then I have another that I'm keeping pristine because this is my first ever Broadway play. And I was just so excited that this was the one that I got to see. I love Josh Groban and Annalise Asperg like so much. So it was very exciting. Then we get on to June and I did the same thing where I sort of tried to model a theme off of this washi tape set here. And I just loved the like zigzaggy patternness of it. Um, it reminded me of that like one art style that kind of feels like very 3D or comic booky. But I was debating whether to put continue the tape along these bottom corners, but I thought that it would look too busy, so I just did these two stripes and then had the June going down with the extra in there. And I've been keeping this calendar spread over here. I did this in May as well, where I just I did like half and half where I put the events that were happening on the you know bottom part of it because I didn't really have a whole lot going on. And as you can see, as well as when um, last month, I just completely did not do anything else for June at all. These are the only two spreads I did, two lines a day. I ditched my habit tracker, ditched budget, ditched playlist, all of that. Then we get into July and I wanted something to really contrast that June because I feel like the black and white was really cool but it wasn't inspiring me so I wanted to theme it off of Barbie because my friend and I did indeed go to see Barbie Heimer. 
have my two lines a day. I just love this color contrast with the blue and the pink. Like it's so vibrant and just makes you like so excited to journal. And I have my ticket from Barbie and we didn't end up printing out the ticket for Oppenheimer. So I just had to like draw it in, but I have my reviews for both of those movies. I also got a car this month, which was very exciting. So I put that in there. Then we get on to August and I especially love the deep purples and like trying out this different art style. I was very much inspired by Pinterest for this one. I don't think I would have come up with this design on my own. And this is also the month that I experimented with um, this sort of vertical style calendar where instead of going across the days of the week, it goes down like this. I don't really think it was my favorite, but I've also haven't tried it. And so I'm thinking if I try it again, I would like it more. We have my two lines a day have my fall schedule right here, some memory pages. I went to the Three Doors Down concert and I sort of did the same thing with the set list and my ticket. And then I had a fall bucket list going as well. Now we get into September, which was honestly one of my favorite themes of the entire month. Um, I did an avatar theme and this took forever to set up, but I'm just so happy with the way that it is. Like I did a quote page over here from Uncle Iroh. He says, hope is something you give yourself. That's the meaning of strength. And I just thought that went really well with like the map and everything. And then I have these little like Dutch door type things that I cut out for each of the different members of elements. So I have my playlist here and I made it green for Toph. I have my calendar here and I made it red for Zuko. And then I have my two lines a day, which I was somehow able to fit on with, even with this section cut out. And I alternated the colors for Aang. And don't think that I didn't include some other classic favorites from the show. Uh, I included uh, Azula in my budgets. And this is probably my most detailed budget breakdown that I've ever done. I was really, into money at that point in time of like okay I needed to keep track and then I also had a lot of like reading stuff going on I ended up finishing two books and I bought three books at Barnes and Noble so I wanted to keep that in here and I have Uncle Iroh representing that because it's like wisdom you know and I have some memory pages where I have Sokka poorly drawn and Suki over here then we get into October and as you can see I tried to do like a ghost face theme I think it turned out really well in terms of the drawing. I just wish that I had found some different construction paper. I sort of just used this very like light black, if that makes sense, kind of construction paper throughout the whole theme. And I wish I had found a more darker page to go with, to like put over it. I think it would have popped a lot more, but I do like the attempt and like the different mediums trying to do. Then I have my calendar and I included a playlist bar on the side but I ended up not liking this because it didn't give me a lot of room to write the individual songs. And even I listened to like an entire Broadway soundtrack, so I couldn't write each individual song. So I just had to write the soundtrack on here and hope I knew all the songs that I meant. This month was interesting because for some reason I remember when I was setting this up, I wanted space to have like to-do lists on the bottom for the week so I could write stuff down. But then when I actually got to using it, I didn't need it. <laughs> My weeks are pretty much structured the same, uh, except for I guess this month I had like one or two different things going on, but besides that, it was really kind of unnecessary for me because I do my to-do list and daily planning in Notion, and I mostly use this just for my like two lines a day and tracking of like long-term things. But I ended up using this and I guess it was a, a nice change of form and I did try to use like the Scream font for some of these. This is probably one of my favorite budget trackers besides the September one because I did a bunch of um, Ghostface on the bottom and I wrote down every single like character that has been revealed to be Ghostface and left some portraits on the on the side for any future ones. And then I have just some scraps from the month and some more memory pages. It's Halloween. Then we get into November, and in October, I had ended up listening to the Riddler podcast on Spotify, Secrets in the Dark, I think it's called, and I was just kind of obsessed with it, so I decided to do a Riddler theme for November, and I included throughout this theme, this month, a bunch of different riddles, and I have a page for the answers when we get there. 
I think this is a really cool calendar spread because I did a Dutch door here. I never really know what to do with this extra space. Sometimes I'll use it for a monthly task list. Sometimes I'll use it for that playlist or budget. But this month I was like, eh, let's just cut it all out. And I've included like more riddles at the bottom and stuff like that. Then on the other side, I have my budget breakdown and then I have a, my playlist, which this month I ended up listening to so much music. I basically listened to the entire discography of Noah Khan and Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> I don't really know why, but that's just what ended up happening. My two lines a day with more riddles. I have some memory pages. This is a spread to track the Loki episodes because I ended up watching, binging season two with a friend. I still haven't filled in my breakdown for that, but this was such a good show. And then I have my page of like answers to the riddles throughout the spreads. This is my Vlogmas checklist. I'm not gonna spoil it because there's a lot of cool videos coming up, but this is very, basically where I am in the process. And then here's a little spoiler for my gifts video if you haven't seen it yet. These are all the gifts I'm giving to my friends yeah. and family. This is a memory page for Thanksgiving. I ended up making mac and cheese, so I wrote the recipe in here. This was my planning pages for the top songs of 2023, which will be coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, that is going to be a fun video. Please stay tuned. I just put my planning pages in there because I want to remember. And then we get into December and I did sort of this like carolers theme and I have my playlist on the side. I thought this was just absolutely perfect. I still want to add like something to this. Um, I want to add like another row of carolers at the bottom just because it feels a little plain right now. And then my two lines a day. I have a classic Christmas movie checklist. Um, so I'm going to write down all the like classic Christmas movies we watch every year and sort of check them off as I go along. I have some space for some memory pages for December. And then we get into my end of the year pages. So I have a yearly favorites where I write my favorites of like music, movies, podcasts, TV shows, books, and I love this space if there's anything else I want to include. I have my Spotify wrapped. Again, this isn't as complete as I wanted it to be, but I'm a big Noah Khan fan, guys, so. Then I have my yearly budget recap, so I just write how much I spent and earned, and then on this side, I'm gonna put like some pie charts and graphs of, you know, like percentage of like what went into my spending and how much of it was planned and everything. Then I have my period tracker for the year in here, so I can sort of just see how it ended up going. And then I have my planning for my new bullet journal for 2024. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have a video in Vlogmas setting this up, but if this is something y'all are interested in me showcasing, I would be glad to do that. And then here I just have my pen test page that I fold over so that paint doesn't get onto this page. And then I have a little washi tape page where I just, I have a sample of all the washi tape that I own right now. So I just have that in the back. So I'll always have it when traveling. Thank you guys so much for listening to this video and watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys tomorrow's video for Vlogmas. Bye.